Now we all remember our first car and the many memories that we made behind the wheel. But for one Central Texas mother, that search for a 1985 Chevy pickup truck means more than just a sentimental connection. In the day she turned 16, she was gone <laughs> all the time. Maggie Norton remembers the day her then 14-year-old daughter, Courtney, came to her with an Auto Trader magazine and said she found her dream truck. Courtney had saved up money from babysitting to buy the 1985 Chevy pickup truck. So Maggie gave her blessing and the car sat in their driveway until Courtney turned 16. Courtney was five foot two and about a hundred pounds. So she had a little bitty girl running around in this boy truck. And uh, you know, she wore cowboy boots and shorts and everybody knew that truck. And you know, it just fit her personality perfectly. And she would take it mudding, and we would get called at, you know, 11 o'clock at night. Mom, I'm stuck. She was constantly getting the truck stuck in the mud. Um, we towed her probably 15 times the first year she had it. After some time, Courtney ended up trading in that truck, but she never forgot about it. Ever since we got rid of it, she still talk, she talked about it all the time. She wanted it back, she wanted it back, she wanted it back. Time went on and Courtney grew up, but on April 25th, 2020, everything changed. Someone was knocking on the door quite loudly. Um, I went and answered the door and it was the Burleson Police Department. And they told me that they found her under the bridge at Sycamore School Road and Chisholm Trail Parkway in Fort Worth. Later we found out that it actually happened the night before, and she was out there all night. And they didn't find her because they couldn't see her. Nobody found her because they couldn't see her, and there wasn't a whole lot of traffic in, in that area. Everything was closed down due to COVID. So, um, so as soon as the sun came up, someone called, and um, they... and they uh, called the police. Courtney was just 28 years old. It's devastated me. I don't know. I don't know how to put into words. I had her when she, I was 18 years old. I, I grew up with her. I'm not, I'm not used to being an adult without her. So I miss her. Now Maggie is on a mission to reclaim a piece of her daughter by finding that 1985 Chevy. When I think of Courtney, I think of that little girl in the camo, you know, baseball cap, blue jean shorts with cowboy boots, blasting country music, going down the road in that truck. That's my girl. And I just want to find it. I don't care if it's running. I don't care. I'll fix it. Whatever. I just want her truck. I feel like that's a connection to her. And I don't have many of those. The 1985 Chevrolet C10 short wheelbase pickup truck was traded in at Toby's Autos in Waco and later sold in February 2010. It was last registered in Waco in March 2011. The registration expired in March 2012 and the truck hasn't been registered since. Maggie knows it's a long shot, but says she wants the truck back, no matter the condition. I think it's out there. I feel like it's out there. And, you know, I just want to, I just want to get it back if I can. You know, I just, I want to be able to drive her truck. I don't, I don't even, I don't care if it's running. I don't care if the transmission's blown. I don't care. You know, but I just want to get it, you know, running so that I can drive it to the store, drive it around, you know, have that piece of Courtney. And I'll never get rid of it. So. Maggie is asking anyone who may have either seen the truck or who may have information about the truck to contact her at 817 715 9604. Sydney Eisenberg, 25 News.